Welcome to another food adventure with Getting Lost. Today, we are at Bukit Timah, visiting Beauty World Center because of an article I saw in the newspaper that someone actually offered 17.5 million to buy the food center here. So I thought, I better get down here and try the food before it's all gone. So here I am. Let's go, go, go. Okay, how to get there? First of all, take the MRT to Beauty World MRT Station. Then, go towards exit A and take the escalator up. Keep going up the escalator. Yes, keep going up. Mm -hmm. You are going the right direction. Right, until you reach the top. And then continue walking straight. Okay. The place we are looking for is Beauty World Center. Yes, this is Beauty World Center. And the food court is actually on top of on top of there, on the fourth floor. So head toward the main entrance. Yes, go through the main entrance. And then once you're through that, you will see the escalator. So take the escalator, four flights up until you reach this until you reach the fourth floor. And then go through. And here you are on the roof of the shopping center. There's actually a food center. Okay, and it's an open air food center. The day I visited it, it was actually quite hot, and the roof here actually was radiating heat down. But nothing stops me from getting to food. So let's see what we have. Okay, the first place we're going to try is actually this. Uh, fried kway teow. Okay, the reason why I chose it is because there was actually a long queue. Here it was. Here's the chow kway teow. It is slightly moist, not the wet type that you normally get, with um, lots of noodles. Okay, so you have the egg noodle and the flat white noodle together with. Uh, Bean sprouts. Bean sprouts uh, cooked with egg and then also the cockles. It's not a bad plate of noodles. Next up is uh, Ham Pao Pao. Okay, Ham Pao Pao is actually the Chinese name for hamburger. Okay, so we're going to get some burgers from this place. This one is the crispy pork burger. Looks like that there's some crispy pork with some cucumbers. And this is the classic uh, beef burger, which comes with some lettuce and then a uh, beef patty with some uh, melted cheese on top and sweet potato fries. Okay, this is the uh, cheeseburger. It is actually, to my taste, just a bit ordinary. Nothing special about it. Except for the patty which is thicker than normal. Uh, this is the crispy pork burger. This one is very nice because they actually deep, deep fry the meat until it's very crispy and it's a very nice crunch when you bite into it and eat the burger. Not bad. 
Okay, this is top one homemade noodles. Okay, normally the noodles uh, are cooked. Uh, we call it uh, noodle homemade noodles are cooked with soup. But for this one, it's actually dry. So this dry version is something new that recently, the last few years, a lot of a lot of shops have tried to make it in their own style. Okay, so for this particular shop, what they did was they put a dark, dark soy sauce okay and then add in uh, some chili I think, I think there was some chili uh, into the sauce which makes it a bit spicy together with uh, I think uh, minced meatballs meatballs and then they also have some uh, uh, deep fried anchovies and then some deep fried shallots and then a bit of vegetables uh, so this is the minced meatball and this is the meatball so so for this style they try to mix a bit something like a uh, Malaysian wonton noodle sauce in the uh, uh, homemade noodle mm, oh it's actually a bit spicy lips tingling spicy but not bad I heard they have another mala soup version which is also very spicy maybe I'll try that next time Lastly, uh, I'm going to try some uh, dumplings, soup dumplings and uh, pan fried dumplings. Okay, this is uh, recently because we have a lot of immigrants from China, so they brought in their foods and this is one of the foods they brought in, uh, dumplings plus noodles. Okay, so I'm eating dumplings today, as you can see this is the fried dumplings. And this is the soup dumplings. And this is the vinegar plus ginger sauce. Yes, I like the arrangement of the uh, fried dumplings, you know, like the black and white, which, which is quite funny. Let me try this. Oops, <laughs> I dropped my dumpling, but never mind. Mm. It tastes okay. Let's try the soup dumpling. Mm. The soup dumpling is actually not bad, but the fried dumpling, the skin is a bit under, undercooked. Overall, I think quite an average, a temp, average dish. Another thing is, when I was walking around here, I noticed there was a few barber shops that were giving the discounts to senior citizens, those above 65 and those younger than 13, where they can cut their hair for $5. Normally, a uh, normal adult male would cut their hair for $10. At least $10. As you can see, we're actually on the top floor here, on the fourth floor actually on top of the mall this food center is actually quite unique in a sense that it's actually on top of a mall anyway thank you for joining me i hope you enjoyed yourself and catch me next time while i explore more food in singapore see you soon bye bye <laughs>